Hi, Rebecca. How are you doing today? I'm doing awesome. Great. And for those who don't know you, uh, what is your name? And a little right. bit of background. Okay. My name is Rebecca Steelman. Rebecca Jo Steelman is what I go by uh, on my website and, and the work that I do. I sign it. And um, so I was born in Iowa. I've been in California since I I'm nine years old, and I, uh, I've been drawing, painting since I was a little girl, and, you know, was encouraged by my mom and my teachers and stuff, got awards along the way. So, uh, I've, I'm a resident of Rialto for many years, and I exhibit in Riverside, uh, Riverside, Corona, I'm a member also of Riverside Art. Museum, although they haven't had a, an exhibit for uh, the members in a while. Okay. And so, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, tell me a little bit more about your body of work. So my body of work uh, consists of um, traditional um, representational work, and mostly, although I do uh, have some abstracts as well, and uh, I've steadily been working on Owning my skills, especially in the medium of art, watercolor and oils. And I've been involved with plein air work, where you go to a location, you take your paints and your easel, and, and you, you know, decide on views to paint there. Mm -hmm. So plein air is a lot of fun, and it's uh, challenging to, uh, you know, weather you know, whatever is going on with the wind and whatnot. So, uh, and then I. Uh, work in the studio area and get a lot of work done there. So um, there's uh, the impressionist that uh, I'm really wanting to, to uh, emulate and get my skills in impressionism because I'm a member of the California Art Club, okay. uh, which is very top notch, very you know high end, and that's basically uh, an impressionist um, okay. well, club that's been around in California for decades now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what inspires your creativity? I'm sorry, say that again? What inspires you, your creativity? Um, just the nature, you know, I just, I love the light and shadow uh, that atmospheric qualities that you see with you know, mountains and um, you know lakes and whatnot it's just really that that's a very inspiring to me forests and uh, people animals I do portraits as well so mm -hmm. I'm really inspired by just uh, nature in itself mm -hmm. and uh, spiritual mm -hmm. aspects of that you know just what you do. okay so basically, that's your motivation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the love of art, right? Perfect. Yeah. Now, what's your, what is your strongest influence on your work? Uh, I would say, that's a good, um, there's uh, people like, um, that I admire in, in the field of art. There's all kinds of names that I can think of off my head but I just uh, there's uh, the people that are uh, ha they have an established name and, and I um, just want to get it get uh, uh, as good as them and get uh, to a point where I, I have more name recognition I, I consider myself an emerging artist basically where it, I'm not there yet but I'm at a point where I can at least you know hold my own in terms of quality okay. and it just it can get better from here perfect now how do you define success i think uh, you know awards are nice but when uh, validation a lot comes from a person uh, people that come along and they just it, whether it's just one individual an adult or uh uh, uh, parents with their, their youngsters and they are just looking and you, you um, I, I feel very you know heartworn when I see them really just 
you know, getting really into my heart, and especially the youngsters, they, they, you know, they're really interested. And that, that's, that, that kind of defines success when they, and they want to go ahead and purchase something, because, um, you know, it, it's just, it, it, that's, it's like a, a validation, like a, a successful, you know, I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it to, to for the love for the love of it. But then, of course, the money is nice. <laughs> That's so true. Has your child, has your style changed throughout the years? It has. Uh, I was looser uh, about five, six years ago. I went through a period of time where I was doing a lot of abstracts, and uh, I wasn't quite as healthy in the you know, psychologically and physically. So I noticed that when I got healthy, got back down to the weight that I need to be, and my immune system better, and everything's just fallen into place physically and psychologically. I've noticed that there's been a huge amount of, um, you know, improvement in my work. So I think that it has a huge amount of something to do with my mind sharper I'm able to see better because when you get uh, you know insulin resistance and uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know you're, it starts affecting your eyes as well so it, I, I noticed that it's, well I'm glad you're doing a lot better yeah that's perfect it's awesome now I have to, one of the questions I always have to ask artists is how do you seek out opportunities as an artist to show and sell your work? I, um, so uh, just building connections, like if there's people that come through the, the gallery, because I have to sit, the, the one in Corona is called the Arts Colony, mm -hmm. and uh, you start building uh, connections, like the, the ladies from Wrightwood, they come along and they invite to uh, exhibit at the art festival, right? So it's just, it's a steady, um, okay. just talking to people. So what do you enjoy most about participating in the festival today? I really like how there's, um, the, the everything set up for us. I, I've noticed the change from last year, it, it's, um, you know, they, they had it, the parking lot, it's just closer. There, there's just a, a lot of really good work done by the, the organization here in the city uh, organizing. Okay. Yeah, I, I have no complaints whatsoever. Perfect. Sure. That's that's really good to hear. Yeah, the ROTC youth, they're really a lot of help. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is your connection to Ontario and the surrounding communities? Um, yeah, truthfully, I, I'm not a member of any of the galleries over here in Corona since uh, uh, I, I suppose that there is the Inland Empire. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've, I've, you know, been in contact with some people from that uh, uh, and I have kind of thought to myself, well, I should join that one, and I just never got around to it yet. But I, I you know, Ontario is okay. a nice community. Okay, then one last time, what is your name? Rebecca and Joe okay. Steelman, S-T-E-E-L-M-A-N. -E <laughs> Perfect, and I, I want to say thank you for taking the time to speak to me today. And I'm going to get by your booth again and check out some more of your work. Beautiful right. work, by the way. And I hope you do. And we will talk soon. All right. Take care. Thanks for taking the time again. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Take care.